everyone, I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. Jen, are we going anywhere? Not today, but we are going to Disney July 24th through the 28th. Now in the video that we recorded yesterday that just published this morning, um, we talked about getting online today to do all the Disney reservations because everything was going to open up. And today was the day that we we're going to do the reservations. Um, I'm and just going to say, I'm going to preface this by saying that I've never been happier about having a job than today because I was able to leave the house and go to work just so I could be out of the house to be away from all of this. But I'm going to let Jen tell the story because this is your story today. My I wasn't, story to tell? It's your story to tell. I wasn't even home, so I'm just going to let you take it's the floor. It's probably a good thing that you weren't home. I know it was a good thing I wasn't home. Yeah, we'll get I to that I love you, dear, point. but it was You would not good thing. have loved me today. Yeah. And I'm also going to give, even though she's probably not going to watch this video, but give a shout out to our daughter, Allie, who helped you quite a bit today, apparently. She did. So Shout out to Allie. All right. Okay, so Disney rolled out the new park reservation system today. So... For us, being in the central time zone, it opened at 6 a.m. What time were you up this morning? 5.15. Why were you up at 5.15? Because I had a nervous stomach. Because I mean, if you want me to be honest. You were totally just hypertense and stressed about getting these tickets? It was so bad. All right, well, start off by saying that we, had, we have the annual pass, and that annual pass was supposed to expire May 1st. But it was extended because Til of August twenty seventh. We didn't know the exact dates for when it was going to expire, when when if they were going to renew it or can you know extend it. But so you ended up when you made these reservations a while ago. Yeah, like you actually. I think I actually made these in December or January. I yeah, it was either December because and that's why you had park tickets attached to the hotel yes. all the reservations were because we thought our ap's were going to expire they were going to be done and gone so, so for july's why. reservation i did a two-day park ticket and for september i did a three-day park ticket on our reservation on our resort reservation so they were both packages september also had the dining plan attached to it but of course as we all know that's been canceled right. so i had these two reservations actually three because july is a split stay two sets of tickets and now the ap so logged in at six o'clock, couldn't get in, couldn't get in. Finally success, Joe tried a different browser and we were able right away to make one park reservation. But at that point, that was like eight o'clock. Right, was, it was probably already, about two hours yeah, later. Yeah, yeah cause that's I true. was up that's to true. care of the dog Today was such stuff. a blur. So, so anyway, then it just, it literally went downhill from there. I couldn't log in. I would log in and get the little rocket ship or the castle. It wouldn't do anything. Then I would get through and I would be able to click on me and Joe. I was able to go into the calendar and select a date. And then it kept telling me no availability. But I knew there the was parks. availability for the parks because the calendar said there was. So this literally, literally went on from 6 a.m. until I just got it resolved at about 5.45. It was four phone calls to Disney. 5.45 p.m. P.m. So almost 12 hours. Almost 12 hours. It was four phone calls to Disney, um, two to the AP line, um, one or and then two more to the Disney like reservation line and then finally a call back from IT. I had a five-year-old temper tantrum crying meltdown today. I was so frustrated, so um, upset with the way Disney rolled this out. I know that I'm not the only one who had issues trying to make these park reservations. Just take a look at Twitter to get examples of how frustrated people have been today. It was, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, in my experience today, it was bad. I don't think Disney thought this out enough. I don't think Disney tested it enough. And maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just strictly speaking from my experience today. And let us know in the comments below. Did you guys get park reservations today? Was it easy? Was it difficult? How long did it take you? I would really like to know that information. So anyway, there was also a point today where I was on Twitter and I was trying to reach out to cast members. I sent two 
um, tweets to guest services just saying, listen, this is my experience. There was one time where I was literally on hold with Disney AP for two and a half hours. I finally got a hold of a cast member, walked him through my whole sorry story this morning and everything I had been through, and he took pity on me, and he was so super sweet, and he said, listen, hold on a minute. And I'm assuming he went and talked to IT. He came back on the line about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes later. It could have been less than that, it could be more than that. And he's like, hey, I am transferring you to IT right now. So after all of that, I was disconnected. Then I had to take Allie to the oral surgeon. So I, I, I mean, I think that's when I totally melted down today and acted like a five-year-old. So anyway, then flash forward, I was on Twitter and um, I saw something about Six News Orlando. Um, they had asked another tw Twitter person Twitter account? I don't know what, Twatter? <laughs> no, I think it's a Twitter user. Okay, a Twitter user to do an interview and this person said she had to think about it. So I was like, hey, I'll do an interview. So I spoke to Six News Orlando. Crystal Moyer. To Crystal Moyer. And we're gonna link the description and the link no, for- No, we're gonna- we're gonna add the link know. to the news story in the description below, but we'll also put it up here in the corner So somewhere. anyway, I ended up but. doing a Zoom interview and she did um, she did a shout out to Jen and Joe on the go to on Orlando 6 News. And you guys could watch that to see it. But watch ultimately it. the point of the story was that there were people who were really Frustrated. upset. So the reporter looked at Twitter and looked at some of the uh, comments on Twitter and reached out to a couple people. Jen responded, so she got on. She also interviewed another woman from New York who's also in the news story. Who literally called Disney 40 times today. I think that's what she said, 30 mm -hmm. or 40, yeah. So she um, finally ended up getting some of what she wanted or needed. But with all that said, so we had the interview with this reporter, so we'll link that there. So after all of this, after the entire day, you got to the end of it where IT called you back. Well, what happened was I got right in again to the AP line, explained the whole story again, and um, I spoke to Ned, and Ned took down all my information. He repeated it back to me. He was extremely helpful, and he said, listen, IT is a two-hour wait right now to talk to them. He's like, how long can you take phone calls tonight? I said, I'm up until 10 o'clock. He said, great, that's how long they're open. Someone will call you back in the next two hours, I promise. Literally 15 minutes later, Tatum from IT called me. And I'm so happy to say that she was able to fix all the glitches and crap that I experienced today in the MDE app with this new park reservation system. And we were finally able to get four park days in July and three park days in September. Um, so big shout out to Tatum, cast member IT for Disney. She was wonderful, fabulous, extremely helpful. Um, so yeah, we got our park reservations. It took 12 hours and four phone calls and endless amount of tears and screaming, but. So you said that she said that the reason it glitched out for you is because we had the AP and we had separate tickets. Now the tickets we purchased yeah. months and months, months ago as part of the package, as part of our reservation. Mm -hmm. And because they extended the annual passes for us, now we had a conflict between annual passes and tickets. And two that we sets bought, of tickets. Two tickets for the two days yeah. of parks. So that's where the glitch came in. It's something that Disney should have Ironed taken out. care of and should have recognized prior to today. This weekend we talked about today coming up. And there have been many times in the past when you get online to make your reservations and the site crashes. Disney decided that they were going to open up everything for the entire year not just take it month to month. People who had reservations in July, then go to August, then go to September. No, they opened up the entire year. So that was even more people getting on, trying to get the reservations for later on in the year, September, October, November, December. We just wanted to try to get July because 
we're at a I point. I mean, it's, it's, it's less than five weeks away. We were at a, well, and we were at a point where we had these reservations already anyway. We had plans to go down there for your birthday. The whole deal was that this was supposed to be your birthday weekend. And this just turned into one problem on top of another on top of another. Which it we kind of shit show. <laughs> it <laughs> well, look, we love Disney. We've gone we to Disney do. for decades. And um, we'll continue to go. But here's here's my belief and thought, especially as I get older. We work really, really hard for our money. If you're gonna spend your money, you want the business, the business owner to take care of the customer to appreciate what the customer is going through and make it easier for the customer, not harder. Why would anyone in their right mind want to continue to give their money to a business if the business is not making things easier for the customer? Planning a vacation should not be this difficult. Or that's this the stressful. bottom line. Ultimately, or that, or that's this stressful. I mean, I know right now things are chaotic and crazy because of, of Corona and all the and, rest of it. And I get that. I totally, totally get that. Totally get that. But ultimately, if you only have X number of days per year to go on vacation, X number of dollars to spend on vacation, why would you want to go through all this just to go to Disney? Right now, and I've heard other people say this, just avoid Disney, just avoid it. Now we really planned on doing all this for your birthday initially, then it's like, well, I'd rather just go to St. Pete, see family. Well, no, we want to try to go and record and get as much footage of the whole process uh, because they're going to be opening mid-July, we're going to be there shortly after. And I know there are going to be a lot of other people down there recording and doing all that as well, but we wanted to give our take on it. Mm -hmm. And hopefully it'll give something that's fresh and different and new, but, or at least original because it's us. I think ultimately though, for right now, with the way this whole thing went down today, leaves a bad taste in our mouths completely. And I wasn't even here, but just listening to what you were saying, even before I left to go to work, it's awful, just awful. So anyway, we have what we have. And we're gonna be honest with you, we're not gonna be that vlog channel that's like, oh, Disney, everything's great. If there's something that we don't like about it or we're unhappy about, we wanna share it with you because we wanna be honest and let you know what we've experienced. And if it was really good, I would tell you, it was really good. Today was not very good. It was frustrating, it was chaotic. Um, it's just not how it should be. And quite frankly, Disney should be ashamed of themselves yeah. for rolling this out with, um, Maybe not thinking about the glitches or the problems that they yeah. potentially yeah. could have had and did have. Yeah. And and that being said, I did have friends who had great experiences with it. I had three friends actually who were able to hop right on and make reservations. Two for their entire trips. One was able to get about half of her reservations. You know, but again, it shouldn't be that frustrating but and that difficult to plan your vacation. Did they have the annual pass of the tickets? As no, well? they right. just had annual passes. Right. So that's where we ran into the problem. Right. Is it something that Disney just but didn't plan? But people are having problems too with their annual passes being able to make the amount of tickets of, of park reservations that Disney has allotted for annual pass holders. I think you're allowed to make, you're allowed to hold up to 14, and most people that I know were only able to get about seven. Hmm. All right. That All was right. an issue too. So, so again, if this isn't to bash Disney, this, we love no, it. No, I mean, we can be polite about, about our criticism, right. but the criticism needs to be there because right. I'm not going to blindly you know just eh, disney oh no i've never been that way I, and me I, i've over the years i've gone kicking and screaming right when we go we have a good time and all the rest of it but i've always said you know there's uh, a lot more places to visit besides orlando a lot of other things we could do go down the list we have a long yeah. list of places i want to visit but we always go to disney now it's a little different because we're recording and doing all this stuff and we really do enjoy it. We really have a we good do. time. I mean, why else would and, we have a Disney vlog well, if we didn't love it? We've met so many wonderful people because mm -hmm. of Disney. I mean, the friends that we've made because of this, yeah. I mean, so there is a lot of positive uh, about all of and this. And I'm but. sure that it will get things will be positive again. I do have that faith. I mean, this is just a crazy time with the COVID and all the restrictions and all the things that Disney is not letting you do. But I do have faith that things will get back to normal at some point, whether it's six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. I, I don't know what that yeah, is. But, but I just know that we're going to be honest with you guys and let you know when we like something and when we don't. So you guys can make, you know... Better decisions. Right. Yeah. And, but ultimately, it really comes down to, in my mind... Disney, the people at Disney, they need to really stop taking their 
customers for granted. It's almost as if mm -hmm. they know the, the Disney fanatics are going to continue to come regardless. They will spend 12 hours blow the entire day to try to get tickets because they're cuckoo. But that's me. That's you. But the people at Disney can't take that for granted because ultimately what ends up happening is that the customers will go away. They will eventually get so fed up that they just won't go. You put the negative publicity out there. You get that negative buzz out there. People are going to, you know, watch this or read it on Twitter and hey, I don't want any part of it. And there are people I'm going to say, no, nope, just stay away from it. You know, unless you really truly know what you're doing, which you do, you still had problems. Can you imagine the average person going in to do this? Right. They just wouldn't be I able mean, to do if, it. I mean, if we were not, and let's be real too, if we weren't AP holders and, um, if this was our first time visit or our once in a no, lifetime no. visit or our once every mm -mm. four to five years, I would absolutely no. not go at this time. There's just, it's a big list of no's and don'ts and restrictions. Um, and here's the whole thing with it too. And, and it's a just, lot of money to um, yes, it's throw out money. for a vacation to but, not get a full vacation. Now think of this, and this is why I'm grateful. I'm not, this isn't, uh, oh, poor us. But I'm very grateful because we were able to spend time with our kids when they were younger, mm -hmm. but now with Gia when she was younger, to get in there and do all of these things, because we've talked about this. We were able to do all of, the, all of these things with her that people are not going to be able to do. Now the kids are only young once, right? Mm -hmm. So that first time That's that true. we brought her in there, when uh, first, Anna and Elsa, right? She was 20 months old, the first time with Anna and Elsa, and she's going in there to meet them and hug them if you have a kid who's a couple of years old that you're never going to have that experience because not, not right now because of all this that's going on so you're going to miss this opportunity and no for, fireworks and no yeah there, so, it's just a big list of no's right so i guess the, my point is that we've been very fortunate to do the things that we've done with our kids and, with and i think so we took far. them for granted Oh, absolutely we did. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But that's the whole thing. Can't everybody say that? With all the sure. little things, just going out to a restaurant, go out to get something to eat. You know, I mean, all these things that we've lost this year, um, you know, and they're all materialistic things and there are a lot of worse problems in the world and a lot of people who don't have... And that's the other thing. You know, I mean... Looking back on today, I feel like a complete moron for acting the way I did because I couldn't get a park reservation. There's people dying from a pandemic, and I'm worried about getting a park reservation. That's why I mean, that's what it comes down to right. at the end of the day. It, it, my behavior today was absolutely ridiculous. It's a shame I wasn't home to record it, because yeah. that would have been YouTube gold. Nope, you did not <laughs> want to see that meltdown today. Uh, it is good I wasn't home, I guess. But, yeah, but thank that's... you to all my supporter friends today, and everyone who is offering to do anything and everything they could for me. I really appreciate you guys. You know who you are. But, again... Just keep it in perspective, right? You know, like my mother's always said, yeah, it could always be worse, right? It could always be worse. And you can't take it with you when you die. Yeah, I mean, there's that, so. All right. All well, right, we'll rant over. Um, I hope you all have a better experience than we did. Um, like I said, please leave us your comments below. Dying to hear your experiences. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, don't forget to watch me on the news. Yeah, but it put might the make you laugh a little. Well, it was oh, it was a nice article or um, uh, it was track. a good interview. So wait, was there? So it was on TV, but does she have an online story as well? Did she do? Yes. So we have a link for the online article. I believe so. And then the link to the actual news story, the I video. I believe so. Yes. All right. You sure Allie sent it to you? She did. Okay, I'll make sure to Allie's find out. Allie's a good out. egg. I'll find out today, anyway. <laughs> All right, everyone. Oh, well. I'm in my pajamas. I have to go back to work tomorrow. I'm exhausted, so... And we want to get this video out tomorrow, so... Yeah. Good All night. All right. Have a nice evening. Talk Bye. to you later. Bye.